The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Get right into our review here and we'll begin with 90 degree triangles. All right, a right, opposite the right angle, right? Opposite the right angle here, that is always your hypotenuse. So that's what we see here, right? A, that's your hypotenuse. Now, angle theta, when you look at angle theta here, right? Opposite your angle, right? Whatever your angle is, the opposite side is gonna be your opposite side, right? But if the angle is here, say our angle, this was the angle that we were interested in, right? If this was angle theta, then the opposite side to this, then this would have been our opposite side. Right? So with that said, we'll just leave angle theta where it is, and then now, now let's discuss the neighboring side. The neighboring side is called your adjacent side, and that is uh, side B. Okay, great. Now, with right uh, 90 degree triangles, right? If you have two sides, right? Say we have side C and we have side B, well, you can find the third side using what is known as the Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared equals B squared plus C squared, and we'll do multiple examples in the coming slides. Wonderful. Sometimes you may not have two sides, right? You may only have, um, you may only have a, you may only have a side and a, uh, and an angle, right? So depending on the quantities you have, what you can also use is the sine, cosine, and the tangent ratios, right? And the common mnemonic for that, that is uh, widely known is Soka Toa. And another one that's commonly used is a sense of humor can always help to overcome awkwardness. Okay, great. So say we have sine theta, right? Sine theta is gonna be equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse side. So in this scenario, it would be over the opposite side and the hypotenuse side, as we see here. Great. And one last point, if we recall, sum of all angles is gonna equal 180 degrees. Wonderful. Let's move on now to our next slide. Looking now at trigonometry functions of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees, it's given to us here, right? I'm gonna leave this table for you guys to really commit to memory. It will help you. And past this, you're really not uh, meant to know too much. And uh, for now, we'll just move on to the next slide. Okay, great. Now, how about triangles that are not 90 degrees, right? What we can use to find missing sides or quantities uh, or uh, angles, right, is we can use the cosine or the sine law. And in a few slides, we're gonna be doing a few examples of this. So I'll leave it till then. Now, before we actually uh, get into our, uh, uh, this, uh, this portion here, right, let me just talk here about uh, angles that are equal to one another. Okay, great. We, let me get my pointer here. There we are, okay. So if we see here, we'll begin with these two angles here, right? These two angles here that are opposite to one another, right? From the transversal, right? That's the line going down the center. These are known as vertical angles. And these two angles here, they're going to be congruent and or equal. Now, these two angles here, the alternate interior angles, right? They're also gonna be congruent, right? They're also equal to one another. And lastly, these two angles here, the alternate exterior angles, they're also gonna be equal to one another. So they're also congruent, right? Now, knowing that bit of information, so knowing that bit of information, we can, one sec, just gonna get my little pointer out here. Knowing that bit of information there, Right? We can then, so we'll just, we'll make the assumption, just, this is just to prove a point. All right, we'll just make the assumption here. Let me just get my pointer, one sec. We'll make the assumption that this blue line here and this black line here, they are actually, um, they are actually parallel. So I'll try my best to make it parallel. Okay, so that they are parallel. So then with what we just said, then this, the alternate interior angle for that is gonna be that. And then for A here, it would be this 
angle here. Thus, we also know that half a circle, right, a half a circle is going to be 180 degrees, right? And knowing that, from that bit of information, then we can say that A plus B plus C gives us 180 degrees, right? Wonderful. Okay, so let's use all the information that we have now for geometry and trigonometry review, and now we'll do some vector addition and then we'll do some examples. Okay, great. Beginning here with a graphical notation of vectors.